Good morning everyone. Today is Tuesday. It is early. I thought I'd blog today because Belle is being de-sexed. I thought I'd put this on YouTube because before I had a dog or before I haven't had a dog since I was a kid so I had no idea so I'm a bit of a dummy as far as this goes. So I thought I'd um, just talk about it, the information I found out and um, I'll put it on YouTube because there'll be other people like me that have no idea. So Belle is on my bed doing what she usually does, which is playing with the pillows. So she is just over five months old. I did my research from about five or six months old. The girls get de-sexed. They come on heat from six months on, depending on the dog and to stop her having babies because she is my baby and i don't want her to have babies we are desexing her now i believe it is a major operation for the girl dogs not so much for the boy dogs so and i believe from my research but i'll ask this morning when i go to the vet that they take the ovaries and the uterus so i'm going to check on that um, she will be sore or will not be able to do her normal walk for at least a couple of days, I believe. I mean, each dog's going to be different. I'm just preparing for sort of the worst, I suppose. Um, and I'm sure hopefully she'll heal a lot faster. Uh, so 10 to 14 days, I believe, or seven to maybe seven to 10 days, I think, is the healing process. She will have one of those Elizabethan collars because I really think she would chew on her her wound, but we'll see how that goes. Um, I'll have to ask the vet, but I believe some vets ask you to come back after seven or ten days and they remove the stitches. Others um, have dissolving stitches. So um, about the surgery, from what I've seen, on I have like uh, YouTube some of the vet um, channels they make an incision they pull out the uterus and the ovaries and cut that at some point and then obviously sew her back up it's pretty simplistic I suppose uh, what else can I tell you about it um, she could not eat uh, from the night before so from I think they said about seven or eight but I feed her quite early at five or six so that's no issue she was able to have water this morning I don't know whether she has because Peter has got up and taken her for a walk, but it's just past seven now, so she's been with me for the, probably the last 15, 20 minutes, chewing on things as she always does. I'm about to take her for a walk because I think she probably, um, well, she always goes for a walk anyway. I just think it would be nice if she doesn't um, get to have one uh, tomorrow. I think I did... Um, take some good advice from another youtuber who said that don't take them to the park if they are very um you know boisterous and they're used to their walk and you're worried about their their wound just take them up and down um maybe on the footpath or whatever and just give her a walk like that so we'll see how she goes tomorrow i'm sure she's going to be a sook because her mother's a sook basically <laughs> so uh, she's been awfully cuddly this morning actually she was a bit funny last night and I'm just wondering if she's picking up my anxiety because I am quite anxious about it so yes I'll just um, report along the way and if other people are thinking about getting their little girl dogs de sex then you know I might be able to help you in some way so Belle, Belle we are going for a walk we go for a walk she does has no idea she loves going for a walk and she loves going in the car do you want to go in the car go in the car oh yeah she loves the car little does she know we're going to the vet to the car okay we'll go for a walk first baby and then we'll get in the car she absolutely adores the car love the car don't you do you want to go in the car that's pretty cruel <laughs> all right we'll check in she's pretty keen to go for a walk do you like a walking bell we go for a walk okay all right we go for a walk go for a walk just got to open the door there we are okay I have soil on me where she got into the next door's garden they put a new garden look everywhere so I've had to bath her before I take her for her de-sexing 
Um, yeah, it's funny really, it's my own fault. I let go of the lead and she got into next door's garden. So it was mummy being naughty. But here she is after her bath because she's obviously trying to dry herself. So I better clean myself up, Miss Bell. Miss Bell Bell, because we couldn't take you to get your little op with all black soil on white. Not good. So we better get out the hair dryer because we're going to run late otherwise. Aren't we? She doesn't like baths. She's getting better, but she doesn't, they're not her favourite. Mummy needs to um, get out the hair dryer for you. Now we're going in the car. Going in the car. Oh yeah, you love the car, don't you? Go in the car. Go in the car, yeah. Hi everyone, I forgot to take my camera to the vet due to having to bath Belle. She was just covered in black soil. So she's been at the vet now a couple of hours. I'm a bit anxious waiting for her, but no, I'll be fine. But I have to clean up the mess now. Um, towels everywhere and yeah, so quite a rush this morning. The vet lady was laughing when I said that um, she got into some black soil and she was actually running around the house. I couldn't get her into the car because she thinks it's a game when you chase her. So there's a hair dryer. So this morning was a bit of a disaster, but it was really my fault that she got into the next door um, garden. But anyway, I'm sure she'll be fine. So, yeah, I did check with the vet and apparently they do take the uterus and the ovaries. And it is a seven to 10 day healing process. And she will have a, one of those Elizabethan collars. And so just to keep her quiet tonight. So basically what I expected. The only difference is I asked whether the stitches would be dissolving or she had to have them out in seven to 10 days. Um, she said she's gonna check that she could have either. But so when I go back, I'll find out which ones they are. So I just have to keep myself busy now. And I think I've got um, plenty of housework I can do before I have to pick her up. Okay, we just had a call from the vet and it is what time? Half past four and apparently they've only just done her so we have to wait even longer to pick her up. 6.30 so we're actually going to go out and have something to eat because we're anxious parents and we need to get out and I don't know, just take my mind off it. The procedure went fine so she will... The whole day has just been a bit different than what I imagined. So, but anyway, the procedure went fine. Being naughty tonight, aren't we? Having burgers. It's hardly that naughty, though. Yeah. It is. Burgers look with this. sparkling mineral water. And look at this beautiful baby. Down there, missing my baby. Here we are the next day. I forgot to take my camera last night um, to tell you what was going on. She didn't get desexed until four o'clock, so we couldn't pick her up until about 6.30, quarter to seven. So she is fine today. So we've just gone out to the coffee shop. We're giving you a little outing. How do you feel today, Belle? I think she feels perfectly fine. A few people had told me, um, they're the first they're really sore but no she seems back to normal other than i have to keep her away from her stitches and she wants to play with my sunglasses are you right there bell do you like those lucky they're not my chanel's we go home now home go home go home having her stitches out today aren't you dar darling move over you're in mummy's car seat move over <laughs> are you excited you don't have to wear that cone anymore lucky you shake hands for mummy shake hands shake hands good girl okay Belle come on here we go see the lovely nurses come on
Good morning. How are you? This is Belle. How do you think she would, wouldn't be keen? Are you excited? Are you excited to have your stitches out? Aren't you nervous? Apparently not. Apparently we're not nervous. Apparently we're excited. Yeah, no, that's okay. Yeah. Yes. Because she just grows so quick. I know. Yes, you're a bit scared, aren't you, sweetie? It's okay. Yeah, that table, I think. I know. <laughs> Something to do with that table. It is. She doesn't like heights either. She's really like when she gets upstairs at our house and she just is petrified to come down. Yeah. I guess she's just so little. Hey, you don't want to fall, do you, sweetie? Thank you. Ada Love Style.